if you're watching this video, I'm really delighted because this is a strong chance you've been guided by Providence to, to, to see our video and understand how powerful what we're teaching is for not just this generation, but millennials, baby boomers, all generation, 60, 70, 30, 20, or seven and a half years old, enormous benefit for growing organically. So I've been growing organically since I was three years old. I, at the time, I didn't quite understand what, what organic meant, but I saw the way that my, my grandfather on the French side did not spray with pesticide, ever. Well, he had 80 chickens, 12 roosters, he would use pigeon manure, grass clippings, branches, and that's how he grew his organic foods. He did chocos, bananas, mangoes, marvelous, right? So, if you're watching the video, please subscribe to our channel so that you can have access to our videos released on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And in addition to that, you can have, if you press the link down below, it will show you the link to the either the diabetes book or the immune system or psoriasis. Okay. Now, so today we're going to talk, and uh, this is Harrison. Harrison's seven and a half, so he's a very bright boy. So I met him about year and a half ago and he has just gone from strength to strength to strength what's remarkable is that his parents are not in the garden i'm not criticizing that's just the way they are but when he saw our garden at the front he just looked at it he had that look in his face it was like like, like, a, like he was in heaven and he said to me i wish i could live here because he could he could look at the bright flowers in the front the geraniums the the uh, begonias, the roses, and he was just like, like that. And so their family has got quite a big house down the road from us, and it's basically artificial grass and and uh, cement in the back because it's an extension. But so they, they, they're not in the garden, that's that's excellent. But he's, he understands the value of gardening, right? So it's very worthwhile. So would you like to explain how our influence you in the last year and a half? Um, so when I first looked at Ronald's garden, like, I was like, staring at his plants because they were like amazing when i saw like like three or four flowers in the front like i said i like i like your beautiful flowers and then like i thought i could live here because the flowers and and stuff because they looked really nice mm. and then also vibrant, it? Mm -hmm. vibrant and also when i when he gave me a tour like at the side and stuff mm. the side looked very messy mm -hmm. but it still looked very neat and pretty <laughs> yeah. all right so so today uh we're going to talk about an amazing plant and i'm going to give you a very very interesting fact very interesting i've been i've been growing fruit trees for a very long time probably 60 odd years plus right now this is what's amazing Fruit tree farmers, or fruit tree growers, they will con they've been around for years. Right? They will tell you, like an apple tree, a plum tree, or whatever, they will last about 35 to 40 years. And after a while, just naturally, the tree will desiccate, it will get attacked by borers, and then you have to take the tree out when it's cracked up. And you can see apple trees all gnarled up, and they're not, they're still giving apples, but you can see it's on their death legs, right? So what actually happened is that when you have a third tree, third, been with a tree 35, 40 years, you've managed to get that long, you have to take the tree out at one stage, put a new tree in and start again, right? But here's the, the remarkable thing. I did, a, I did a lot of research on the Bible and I kept saying olives, olive, olive trees, olive, hundreds of mentions of the world. And I thought, this is a very powerful book. It's been written about, about two and a half thousand years ago. Why is it, why is it mentioned so often? And then I started talking to people who grew olives, who knew about olives, and somebody told me there was an 800 years old, I'll repeat that, 800 years old olive tree in Israel. And I thought, wow, 800 years. So I, I've helped the lady down the road from us where we live. And uh, she's, from, she's originally from Israel. She's about the same age as me. And she got to know me because the apricots would grow. And she was so amazed by the quality. I told her about the olive tree and she said, I've never heard of it, but I was born here. But, but anyway, about three months later, she went to Israel 
and she took 15 of her relatives, listen to this, 15 of her relatives, cousins and so on and so on. It was some big Israeli guy, about six foot hot, white, solid. They went searching for this tree. And guess what? After about two days searching, they found this olive tree on the border with Lebanon. It was in Israel, but on the border with Lebanon. And the local people said that the tree was not 800 years old. It was 920 years old. 920 years old. She actually bought me some, she sent me a picture, which I'll explain. She sent me the picture and then she showed me a photo and then she bought the olives back from that tree. So I've never eaten those olives. That's in my fridge. That's a sacred olive, right? Now, why is it, so that tree was like dark gray, almost dark. At 15 people, she's that big, sorry, she's that big and the rest were that big or higher. And they were like this, side by side on front of the olive tree and there was another two feet of olive trees showing on the left side and the right. Can you imagine that? 15 people in front, two feet of extra olives, like huge olive trees and still bearing olives. So I thought, hang on a minute, I've got to dig into this. So I started talking to a professor who wrote a book in Australia on olives and the value of olives. And I'll tell you what I discovered, amazing. The, the reason why the olive trees last so long, it's almost indestructible. The reason why it lasts so long is because it's got what you call proentocyanidin and polyphenols. Polyphenol is that's a plant nutrient. And those polyphenols and proentocyanidin are so strong, if a bug or a borer attacks the tree, it kills the bug, it kills viruses. So I thought, wow, I can use that as medicine for, my, for our patients. So here, um, I've got, on this one first, we've got a tree here, can you see that? That is six years old. And it grew to 18 feet in six years with the minerals I put in, six years old. And the leaves are really healthy, dark green. And you can see the trunk is massive. And that's it only six years old, right? And the other one up there is same, same here, but this one did not have as many minerals. And you can see the difference in the trunk. They're still healthy, but look at this one. This is huge, right? Now, two years ago, it was that strong. The wind managed to still push it with the wet, push it way away push it and it landed against the fence. The fence held it. So when we came back, I was like, wow. And, and you can see the leaves are still alive. So what I did then, I, I, I pruned it, put right back to about 12 feet, and uh, I mean, right back. And, and then I put trunks on either side, pushed it back, anchored it, and you can see it's grown again. And those leaves are really super healthy, right? And I'm gonna pull one to show you. Have a look at that, have a look at that. So, see that? Look at that. Look at those leaves. That's a young leaf. Okay, that is that is rich with polyphenols. So when you make tea with that two or three times a day with a cup of lime, that builds your immune system right up. Now, you also got to think commercially. I went I went to Costco with my wife, and I found there was this olive tree. It's about no bigger than that. No bigger than that. And it was, the trunk was that big. So it's already been pruned back. The trunk was that, that big. Guess how much it was? 399 pounds, 99 pence. That's 400 pounds for this tree. 400 pounds. And people will buy that because they don't want to be, they don't want to be lazy. They don't, they don't want to be lazy. They want to just put it on the ground. So I thought, hang on a minute. If I plant, I've got the pot. If I plant this olive tree in a pot, they'll go well in the pot or, or oak barrel like that. What happens as a result? That's an oak barrel you can grow with. Now, what happens is I bought that for 20 pounds, right? 20 pounds. So I'm going to grow it for about six, seven years. And I reckon I'll be able to sell that tree for about 400 pounds. So imagine this is better than the bank, any bank interest. 20 pounds, you know, taken care of, sure. But you get back 400 pounds. So if that goes well, I could do two or three or four or get some sort of commercial organization and buy them at 20 pounds, sell them for 400 pounds six years later. Okay. So also this one is definitely healthy because look at the color of the leaves and look, see those little things there? These little flowers, they, they, they are, these are future olives. Now, I wouldn't cut the leaves back on this one, but I would use the leaves on that one. So so what would you like to comment on what you just heard? Um, about the 920 years old olive tree. Does that make you think? That, look at that, the camera. That made me think like how old this tree is. Mm. Because I can see some cobwebs. Yes, it is. And yes. I'm just being grown. It's one year old. 
It's one year it's old. It's been growing very well. Yes. And when Ronald gave me a tour, I remember like when sure the when he when I walked into here. Yes. I turned and I just saw that fall of there. And then he said that's an olive mm. tree. Mm. And then like I said, okay. And then we moved on. And then like he said that was zero years old. But then when it's growing, it would grow like loads of olives. So mm. I believed him yes. that it grows loads of olives now. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like that before when I first showed it last year, was it? Yeah. It was like down to like then. Very young, yeah, very young, yeah. Then it's grown all the way up. Correct. It was it was just above that little trunk. We look at it now. Uh -huh. So and that will oh, that will keep growing. It'll keep growing quite and hard. Also, this trunk is really strong. Strong, very strong, okay. exactly. All right. So so if you like this video, um, I advise you to press the submit button to get to our channel, Planet Wellness, and then you'll get some amazing videos. Uh, you get access to videos which will be released on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. In addition, you're welcome to press the link below and you can have access to a, the Immune System ebook, the Sarasis ebook and the Sarasis ebook. I always like to tease. Okay, so looking forward to uh, hearing from you and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Would you like to explain um, so your point of view? Click the subscribe button yep, and, hit, and hit the bell so you get notifications and hit the like button mm -hmm. so and then we can do more videos mm -hmm. because then it tells us, me and Ronald, that you like our gardening videos so then we can do more. Fantastic. So, yeah.